Hello and welcome to Let's Play Road 96. This game dropped on the 16th, so it's very new. It's a procedurally generated road trip. Um, we play as a number of teens trying to cross the border in a politically charged country and there are various characters that we're going to meet and ways for us to affect the story. I have actually played this once already. I tried to record a blind playthrough for you all and I had some technical issues that I could not fix to my satisfaction. So I was like, you know what, I'll just keep playing it because I want to see what happens and um, we'll just play it again. And this is fine because I'll be able to make some different choices and maybe give you some insight on exactly how procedurally generated this is now that I'll be able to spot differences. So let's just jump in here. Um, so I did complete this. These are skills that you can unlock here at the bottom. And I can obviously new game plus it which I don't know uh, what that does, if that does anything different for us. I assume we get to keep the skills at the bottom, which I don't want to do. I want to give you a fresh game. So I am going to erase my current save. Hey there. So you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one, when you travel, you usually Ah, uh, travel by yourself. Usually more with family. Well, if that's your idea of fun. <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Mmm, usually more organized. Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? Bell, vote to make changes, consider living abroad. Uh, not much of anything. Um, I'd vote. Right on. Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... Have a laugh, feel something, escape reality. Ah, uh, feel something. But you might also watch a movie to... Have a laugh. <laughs> thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. You have to be careful with the people you meet on the way. Believe me, don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. I don't know if that quiz has any impact on... I don't know. I don't know. So down in this lower left corner, you'll see these are the various characters that we're going to get to meet. I'm here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10 year commemoration honoring the victims. Stand in back! Give us all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who broke the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment. So these and seem to be to the various characters the we're gonna meet. ...of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Track to this is very good. Thanks for the ride, homie. Oh, now I got time to work on this game. 
You've met Alex. Where are you headed? Anywhere with free electricity. Just need to charge my super dope tech in the back. Alex backpack full of dope tech and designs Yo, for even more on. dope tech. Ask me a question. I can multitask like an MF. -er. Um, any tips on surviving on the road? Yeah. Be careful with what you eat. Try to avoid rotting food. But, you know, beggars can't always be choosers and all that. Um, rotten food can fuel a revolution. Uh, whatever it takes to cross. These do, these do impact your game. But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do something. Last time I picked like all the vote options. Uh, this time I'm just gonna try to do what seems right for the situation. You want out real bad. I can tell. Now, let me get back to this beta. That was fast. I sell my games, you know. Built that computer too. That thing? One day, everyone will have a computer like that. You could call them laptops. Nah. Sounds stupid, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, small computers are the future. Hungry? Ask your small computer for food. Lost? Ask your small computer for directions. You can't talk to computers. You'll see, Home Slice. You'll see. Yo, are we gonna play this bad boy or not? Um, let me pull over. It's called Furious Tanks. You got tanks, and they're furious. You're blue. This is easy mode. Red okay. tank can't fire. It's like begging you to blow it up. How do I? Oh, that's how I fire. I missed. You got skills. Now we play for real. Uh oh. Alex is about to take off the gloves. Give me that. Ouch. Yo, maybe we can make it better. Maybe the player has to gather ammo? Maybe the bullets bounce off the walls? What do you think? Um, I like bouncing bullets. Let me just... Boom! Game time, dog. Ah! <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! How did that not hit you? There's too many! Oh my... So, what do you think? And be honest, I hate liars. Let's add collecting ammo. Okay, let me change this real quick. Done. Ooh, no, it's mine. <gasps> no. Oh, frick. No, I meant to grab that. No. <laughs> He's gonna grab it. He's gonna grab it before I do. What? Oh god. I'm so glad you can't get hit by your own bullets. Oh, I'm bad at this. This is def- oh no. That's definitely harder. Mm. I got it! Are we playing Tetris music? So, what do you think now? I like that as it is. Nice. Here's an advance on the profits. And there are sure to be profits. I ain't playing around. 20 bucks? Yo, one day 100 people will play the same game at the same time. You gonna have to stop you right there? Nah, I'm telling you. 
How, who taught you all this? No one. I just picked it up on my own. My intellect is vast and sponge-like, dog. Are your parents programmers? Oh. Um, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? It's not you, Home Slice. It's just... I don't know my parents. Not my real parents, anyway. I'm sorry. You know the attack in 86? No. In 86, the brigade set off a bomb that killed hundreds of people at the wall. Including my bio parents. I'm sorry. The really sad part is, I got no memories of them. None. No matter how hard I try, I just have this picture. Picture of a man and a woman taken on September 9, 1986, the day of the attack. Alex believes they are his biological parents. It's from GNN, the day of the attack. They appear for just one sec. I learned a lot about computers enhancing this. That's impressive. Thanks, homie. Guess I needed to talk and didn't know it. No problem. That'll be 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks? That's steep. Mm. No, I'm happy to have helped. And that's why I'm on the road. They're probably gone. You know, buried underneath the rocks. But I want to find out as much about them as I can. Oh, okay. So we don't... This is a skill that we can unlock, but... Good luck with your search, Alex. Thanks, man. You can drop me off at the next location. Yo, your fuel is low, dog. You gonna run out of gas fast. Oh, oh yes. We are very low. This isn't even my car. I know that. Think I'm blind? <laughs> now, crank some music. We best ride in style. All right. Alex, 20%. Smells like teen spirit. Go vote. So I try to do this every chance I get. That seems to put something in for voting. Uh, can I help you? You're gonna vote, right? Mmm, sure, why not? Oh, okay, good. You know, that's another reason Tyrax sends you teens you know where. So that your vote can't be heard. Got any road advice? Spread the love, kid. What goes around comes around. Pet the kitty? Aww. I don't know how much... She says spread the love, and I do wonder about that. And I'll mention it later when Get I see it. Tapes and snacks here. Hey. Tapes and snacks. Any travel advice? Music goes well with the road. It's like the perfect compliment being on a road trip. I might come back and buy some stuff for you. Food will increase your vitality. We're pretty low right now. And resting. Ooh. You got any change? You got any food? You got any food? No. You're one of them, huh? Sorry, kid. I got nothing. She's got a brigade shirt on. She had a Torres shirt. Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago, and they never came. 
The Ooh. cops aren't gonna show for this. I don't have time for this. Just a Mitch you stole from me and I didn't do it. I met Zoe. I want to There's another area to get food. I want to check over here first, because this is clearly this guy's shack. Stand. 4166. Um, everything okay? Everything's fine. It's not fine! She broke into my office and stole from me! Do you have proof? Who are you? Her attorney? No, I don't have proof! She turned off my security camera! She's a criminal mastermind! Your case is weak. You teens! I don't need the hassle! I'm out of here! <sighs> you didn't have to do that, you know? I was handling it. Yeah, I know. Well, thanks, I guess. Anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. I love crappy trailers. That bad, huh? Oh man, it's the worst, really. How do you run it? For, uh, where can I sleep for free? There's some cardboard around here. And you're Dancing Carl. Dancing Carl? He's like this guy who's weirdly competitive about dancing. You'll know when you meet him. Okay. See you? Yeah. See you around, I guess. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? Thanks. I'll try not to. This is 191.9. The voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of Tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. But will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. And now, here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, papa baby loves you. You left the radio outside, Denny. Turn it off before you get us arrested. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's an illegal radio station. Reward for radio transmitter. Okay. Hmm, this doesn't seem super secure. And I have code. 4166. Open? Open? Nothing? Cash. 45 bucks. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and close these so nobody knows I was in here. And uh, hopefully Zoe doesn't get in trouble again. Oh, what? Kick. Kick. I kicked it. Okay. Anything back in this corner? A generator. Okay. Can't check the trash. Oh my. Feel free to join if you can hang. Uh, we're gonna sleep. There's some cardboard right there beside that guy, but he's a snorer. Okay. Know where I can sleep? There's some cardboard right there. But I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. Hmm. Hmm. Something tells me. Can I dance? No one can really dance with me. I'm on another level. So knock yourself out. See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? How do I run a trailer? What? I can't hear you over the music. Okay. How do I run a trailer? I don't need to scream. Go talk to the owner in his office. No? 
I wonder if it'd be cool if I could knock on some doors and have somebody let me sleep in their trailer. <laughs> Nothing. You don't know where you're going, do you? Uh, I, I know where I'm going. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. This I don't want to sleep on that cardboard. Something tells me that it's not going to go well. What do you want? I want to run a trailer. I got trailers here. Trailers you can sleep in. If you got the dough. Well, I stole your own money, so... I will sleep for 20... Ooh, what's this do? I'm right here. <laughs> I will sleep. Let me show you to your spacious trailer. Spending more money would probably have gotten me better rest, but... Side of red and roll. Mm -hmm. When you left an open door, I couldn't help but explore. So I took off with no plan. Ooh. Heck, I didn't need to spend extra money. Nice. I didn't even need to buy food. Who's there? Hey, 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 wake up. Hang out with me. Okay. Up here. Come here. Sit with me. You don't have any marshmallows, do you? I wish. Sorry. I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. How'd you end up here? Well, actually, I have an idea. I've been on the road a long time? I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria. Like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. Have you seen the border? A lot of times, actually. It's scary there, with all the security. I traveled there with my father for his work. What does your dad do? He works for the government. No big deal. Think you'll make it? Actually, you ever scared? Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? I don't know how to play that. Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. Don't be scared, oh God. man. Give it a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's try it with the music. Oh my god. You don't just hand a stranger a trombone and tell them to... <sighs> I should be recording this. <laughs> oh gosh. No, no, no. I don't want to go faster. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> uh... right. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my god. Put that away before I come up there! <laughs> That's it! Both of you are gone by sunrise! Understand me? And don't come back! Ever! 
Oh. Oh man, that was great. I'm sorry I got you kicked out. Uh, don't sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway. But I'm just sorry for you. I was gonna leave too. You wanna hit the road together? That's sweet, but I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Okay. Thanks for understanding. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, this is for you. To remember this moment. Cassette tape. Um, what do we want to do? I've got some money. I know we can rest in vehicles and our vitality is completely full. So, let's leave on foot. And I think this is where the procedural generation comes in is deciding where we're going. Dang! Well, there went my vitality. Oh my. No hitchhiking. don't have the perk I need to look through this trash can. You can find food sometimes, sometimes good food, sometimes rotting food. There's nothing in that car. Um. Okay, we all know the plan, right? Yes. Totally. Let's do this. Uh, uh guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? I just... Nothing to see here, kid. What are you gonna do? Okay. Nothing to see here, kid. I'm leaving. There's another trash can. Where is he, Sonia? It's almost time. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, find someone to film this, and now you know how important this is to him. Where am I gonna find a loser to? No. Hey, you there. No. No, no, no. It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for I you. I don't want full side. What kind of job? The best kind. You get to film me for television. Mm hmm. Sure. I'll pass. Eh, I don't think I can pass. I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I don't actually want to pass, so let's do it. Then you're my new camera operator. She might just drag me off to the camera. Time to make some effing magic. If I said no, she might just say it's too bad. I don't know. This is fun though. This is just a little puff piece on the pub, cuddle muffin. Nothing to it. We have a sec if you wanna like talk to me. I get my take on something important. Okay. Know anything about uh any t no anything about cops? Just that Tyrak puts them there to catch teens on the run. Can't stop them, the tide. Flores would use cops differently. They'll still get through. Ah, uh, let's do Flores here. Oh, honey, please. Flores isn't gonna do a thing because she ain't gonna win. Okay, let's go. We'll start with the intro. Oh, this is good with the billboard behind me. Mm. How do I look? <laughs> Wait, I know. Amazing. Yeah, just like that. Three, two, one. Sonia here, reporting live from the site of Petria's newest oil pub, where the Minister of Oil is moments away from a speech. 
the new pope, a gift from President Tyrak, will soon bring riches to our already rich nation. And cook! Oh my god, we effing destroyed that! You gonna pay me? We ain't done! But take this! Ooh, okay, now I can search through trash cans. Oh, it glares. Nice and shiny. I knew you'd like it. It's a lucky charm. If it helped me, maybe it'll help you too. Oh. Okay, sweetums. Now we film the minister. Get the crowd to cheer when he talks about President Tyrant. And boo when he talks about Senator Florence. Got it? That's manipulative. You're not one of those make a difference teams, are you? Just do what I say. Okay, he's approaching the podium. Film him. Hello, good citizens. We're here to celebrate the opening of this pump. Don't forget to take some close-ups. And what a beautiful and strong pump it is. Like our nation, like our president. Speaking of our president, let us cheer him to show our appreciation! See, this is what's weird. I said, let us cheer for the great President Tyrak! Why can't the crowd make their own decisions? What are you doing? Morris believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs. Are they all paid to be here? The hardworking people of Petria think of Lupe Flores! That we have to tell them what to do? If with my career, Dumplin. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising. But am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. Oh. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! Boo. <laughs> Why are we able to do this? Stop that, kid! Flores! Save our country! Stop them! Now! Run! I'm here, Sonia. Oh, shit. I got it. Oh, no. We definitely don't do stories like that. I got some revolution points. Well... It's about time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Yeah, totally. Look, to sum it up, your intro wasn't half bad. Cool, I guess. But you completely effed up filming the Minister of Oil. And that almost got Sonya fired. I doubt it. Team. Bad. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Guess what I'm trying to say is, hope I never see you again. Adam, let's roll. She's not gonna pay me. Oh no. I actually got paid last time because I didn't do all the stuff I did this time. <laughs> Ooh, I can go check trash cans now. This, okay, let me check. A lot of times they're just empty, but. Ooh, eat rotting food. No, I was warned against eating rotting food. I think... So I didn't eat any rotting food last time. I assume that it can actually destroy your vitality. Your vitality can actually go down. Where's, there it is. I was like, where is it? Did I pass it already? Not... Ooh. Coins. Oh, I got some coins. So was that Tyrek up on stage, or was that just like a manager? Yeah, so that wasn't Tyrek up on stage. Whoever the heck it was, representative. Let's hitchhike. Oh, I maybe should have taken a bus so I could have slept. 